So what went wrong there? What do you think went wrong? What went wrong? How? At I felt. What did they let you go? Okay, so geez, where do I even start with this? So last year, when did when was we, we ne, ne murdered? It was 2019, 2020? 2020, ne? Can someone Google that? We've got no, Wi-Fi. No, it wasn't 2020 because 2020 was lockdown. No, it was August 2019. 2019, okay. Yeah, it was August 2019. Yeah. And remember then the Me Too movement started? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And then people started tweeting, dropping names. So some women then tweets... The, the rape list. Uh, yes. Yes. Then some women yeah. tweets uh, euphonic. Mm and say something like how do you feel about dragging young girls and raping them mm. so Temba ignored it some weeks later she tweets again now I'm added to it mm. so I'm like what the fuck so I called Temba I was like do you know this person Temba's like I don't fucking know who it is but let's ignore her mm. so we you know carry on with our lives and then last year it starts again. Mm. The thing is, there's a timeline, so I feel like I'm skipping stuff. So can I get to the stuff I'm skipping first? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Okay. So after that list happened, and we obviously, I mean, I did my statement to say it's bullshit. Yeah. Uh, that that never happened. Mm. Um, you know, life carried on. And you're still on air at the time. No, I'm still on air. I'm still mm. on air. I mean, I've discussed it with management, mm. and you know, life has carried on. And then some girl decides to post it on Facebook. And then some poet girl whose name I shan't waste my energy on decides to post it on her Twitter. Twitter. So I'm like, what's going on here? Um, so my lawyers, you know, send her a letter to say, please remove uh, your post. Mm. And in her arrogance, she literally refused. Mm. So we're like, okay, we're going to give you one last chance to remove it. Otherwise, we're going to have to go legal. Because if you remove it now, it's finished. Mm. But if you don't remove it now, we're going to have to go legal. But if we go legal, we go legal with costs. Mm. So well, the arrogance continued. In fact, after that, then the ANC Women's League were pulled in. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. And now I see a letter that says, trying to silence people. Mm. Or, mm. I'm like, but nobody's trying to silence anyone here. Mm. All we're saying is don't post shit that is unsubstantiated and then say that's you being an activist. You know what I mean? I mean, if I turn around and say, you know, I saw Saul committing bestiality the other day, I want to just post it mm. with like no substantiation, nothing. Anyway, so the arrogance uh, carried on. So it went to court and she lost. Mm. Uh, with costs. Mm. Then the costs were almost 200 grand. Jeez. And it didn't have to go there. Mm. This thing could have ended immediately. Mm. And I remember at the time the judge was like, we're actually not against people being activists. Mm. But with activism comes great responsibility. Yes. Mm. You can't just post shit. Fact check. Uh, if, you, and you, if you can't fact check, then leave it. You know what I mean? In fact, you know the weirdest thing is I'm actually one of her biggest fans. Is it? No, no, I love the fact that she's bold like that. Yeah. yeah. But don't be bold for the sake of it. Mm. When you can either check if something happened or not. If you don't have the facts, then leave it alone. Mm. It's that simple. Anyway, so it finishes, it happens, and then it passes. Fast forward January 2021. So I can't remember what I tweeted and one of my followers commented on it and then a said poet inboxes my follower and says you're here busy uh, celebrating someone but his victim is busy um, going for counseling. Yeah. So I ignored it. Mind you, were you in court again for the finalization? Yeah. Were you in court? With the victim. <clears throat> No, with the poet. Okay. Is, is, so isn't it, I won the case. Mm. So basically in that court case, she must never ever fucking talk about me or post anything about me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So February the 2nd, we're supposed to finalize it now. And obviously they are going to appeal. Mm. 
Mm. Anyway, so I'm, I just want to show you why I think some of this shit was actually orchestrated. Hmm. So, middle of January, this woman from 2019 resurfaces, uh, tweeting at myself and Temba. So I called Temba, I was like, my man, are you sure you don't know this person? Mm. Temba is like, nah, like, fuck all. But anyway, we ignored it and we just let it go. And then, obviously, then it starts gathering momentum, it starts gathering momentum. And then, so we speak to management and we said to management, listen, this is what's happening, but this is the situation. Yeah. And again, we let it go. We, you know, we carry on with our lives. In fact, at the time, I'm busy flipping um, COVID-19. Mm. So I had mm. COVID, I think, from about the 1st of Jan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, until about the 15th. But mine was light, like yours. Yeah. But also you have Vendor, nothing can bend you. So. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. Vendor looks are tough, bro. <laughs> No, you guys are you guys are tough. Yeah. You guys are like buckies, eh? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so so I'm noticing this commotion, and in my mind I'm like, what are the chances this commotion is linked or not linked to the second of February? Mm. Then I let it go. And then, so then, this woman goes and uh, opens up a case against us. So then I call Temba on a Friday night. I'm like, my man, I think let's actually call the station and tell them we want to stop all activities. Shit so, is hitting the fan now. It's not even about shit is hitting the fan, mm. but we'd rather deal with this. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could and, see what's coming. distracted. Mm. So we call... Uh, so they hadn't spoken to you before that? Before no, we'd spoken, no, no, we'd spoken. We'd spoken okay. and we said we'll monitor it. All right. Yeah. All right cool. So that Friday night, myself and Temba are on a call with our station manager. And we tell her that, listen, we think we're going to pull back from everything that we're doing so mm -hmm. we can deal with this thing. How? Saturday morning, after we agree on a statement, the station released a statement acting like they're the heroes here. Mm. That they've decided that they're going to pull us off air for now. Oh. Which wasn't discussed. I was like, no, no, they said they want to go off no, air. No, we said we are going to do it because we want to deal with this. Mm. Yeah. Now they want to be the heroes and say they've decided in the interest of what, 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 yeah. that uh, we're going to pull you off air for now. But do you blame them? They were under a lot of scrutiny at that time. No, but don't lie. Mm. Just say the guys came to us yeah. the one time. And to we agree. On we're going to let them do what they need to do. Okay. Anyway, so. Obviously now there's the storm that's happening and we're dealing with that storm. Yeah. After about four weeks, we're like, no man, but fuck this shit. Until we're guilty of something, we're guilty of nothing. Mm. So why should we pull back from all the shit we're doing? Mm. So I call our station manager. So it wasn't just your radio gig, like all mm. the other stuff. Well, no, no, we said we want to pull back from everything. everything. So we can focus on, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. All public appearances, everything. Mm. So I call our station manager, I think I was, I, well, I think I was driving to Eastgate. I was like, we've decided that we want to actually go back on the radio. Yeah. Because like, why are we off radio? Like in, even in So there was no time frame. It wasn't like, okay, let's wait. No, it was, weeks. let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But okay. we'll pay you guys in the interim. Whew. So we're like, but if it's just in terms of like labor law, like why are we not on the radio? Mm. So we'd like to go back. Yeah. We'd like our shows back. Mm. And I don't know if they scripted when we said that, because obviously they're also under pressure. Mm. Mm. How next thing we get an email, I think it was the next day or the day after, saying after much consideration, we've decided that uh, we're going to terminate the contract. Oof. We'll pay you out for the duration of the contract, but you guys won't be on the radio. How long was the contract? Until end of July. Oh, so it's just a one year contract? No, it was 18 months. 18 months, okay, mm. cool. So, so like, are they panicking that we said we don't understand from a labor relations perspective of, our, of radio, what's going on? Or are they under pressure? So we decided that, and in fact, they sent us an email telling us what they want to do, but they also sent us an email with a statement that they want to put out there. Mm. That's why then we put out our own statement before they did theirs. Mm. You know what I mean? Because we could see that these guys are actually trying to fuck us. Hmm. You know, so we put out our own statement that we wanted to go back on air. Then all of a sudden now they're saying, um, this thing's not working, mm, you, guys, mm. you guys must bounce. So in a nutshell, that's what happened. Do you think they threw you under the bus? 
Let me tell you why I think they threw us under the bus. I think, in fact, the only reason I miss management at Metro, when there was all that Musune happening, mm. I remember in our meeting with management, I said to them, you know, we're trending every day, people saying, put these guys back on the radio. I remember one of my managers saying, we are the managers here, not social media. Oh, beautiful. You know what I mean? Mm. And eventually, when all is said and done and has gone through the wash, you actually realize that social media is not necessarily a microcosm of the society we live in. Hmm. You know what I mean? And it's then that I understood why my managers at Metro said, we are the managers here, not mm. social media. You know what I mean? We have processes, we will decide uh, what happens, not social media. Mm. So I think they bow down to pressure from social media. And then there's, um, there's a women's group that have been um, at it for, for the longest time. And I think they bow down to that. But, don't but, you think but on top of that, for instance, when you look at the statement the CEO put out when our contracts are terminated, all of a sudden he's using language like, again, they want to be the heroes. Mm. All of a sudden he's using language like, we respect something about the victim. Mm. And I'm like, but this person has accused us of something. Mm. We have told you that this thing never happened, mm. but now you're calling her a victim, which mm. means you've actually taken a side. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And for me, it, made, it, it became clear uh, where he stood as a CEO. In the boardroom, though, what was their tone? Because clearly it was different. No, no, we never the met email. the boardroom because I mean, it was the time of Zooms and whatever. Yes. So, so we never actually met me. But did they act like they were supporting you behind the scenes and then surprise you with this public statement? I think so. I think it was all for show. And for me, it's unfortunate because if your employer can't protect you, how safe are the other employees then? Hmm. from anything similar happening. What, what were the, the other employees what, saying? Yeah, what, what was the other saying? Your colleagues. Yo, dude. Are you, are you guys sitting down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when all of this madness was happening, only three people from 947 reached out. Hmm. Only three. The first person was Shannon. Shannon did traffic. Yeah, it's on your show, mm. yeah. I know Shannon. Shannon would, you know, every week, how you doing? Are you okay? Are wow, you fine? Man. And then there's Debbie from Music Department. Wow. And so shout out, Debbie. Love you, girl. And the only other person that got in touch was Palisa. Palisa ran the desk. Mm. Only three people. Mm. But who are you expecting to? No, you, you know what? I think when you're going through shit like that, mm. you almost realize either how on your own you are, or the people who are genuinely for you.